Hey guys, Matt here from AudioTaker.com. Today I want to show you how to set up a hardware synth in Ableton Live. Now I'm not going to go through the debate as to whether hardware synths are better than software synths. I just want to show you the quickest and easiest way to get set up. So let's get to it. In this example, I'm going to be using this classic synth, the Microcorg. If you look at the port on the back, we can straight away see what we're dealing with. So when connecting a hardware synth to your computer, there's two things we have to think about. Firstly, we have to send the MIDI data to control the synth, and secondly, we have to send the audio so we can hear the synth. And as you can see, here we have MIDI, in, out, and through. Because this synthesizer is also a vocoder, we have an audio input, but for today's demonstration, I'm only going to focus on sending audio out. So let's start with MIDI. How do we get MIDI out of this device and into our computer? Computers don't have MIDI ports. We're well, not modern computers anyway. We need a MIDI interface. Here I have a Motu Microlite. This is a MIDI interface with five inputs and outputs. This will allow me to send MIDI information from the synth to my computer. So I'm going to connect the MIDI inputs and outputs from the synth to the interface. Then the interface connects to my computer via USB. So now the audio. We need to send the audio out of this synth and to our computer. We need an audio interface to do this. For this example, I'm going to use the Complete Audio 6 from Native Instruments. Connect an input from your audio interface to the output of the synth. The hardware is now set up. So now let's open Ableton Live. You will need to select your audio interface in the audio preferences. Let's create our tracks. You could create a MIDI track and an audio track separately, but I want to show you a really easy way to get this going. If you go to Instruments, select External Instrument. And at the bottom, you'll see exactly what you need. It has all the MIDI and audio options right here. Under MIDI, select your interface and channel. And under audio, select your input. Select input monitoring and you're good to go. As you can see, pressing a key is sending both MIDI and audio information. Let's now take a look at recording.
As you can see, the MIDI notes have been recorded. And if you check out the clip envelope, you can see that the automation from those knobs was also recorded. And you can edit the automation too. You might want to convert this to audio. Well, this is how you do it. And now we have the MIDI notes and all the automation recorded into an audio track. I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.